Hey, 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 what's up everybody? This is your girl, oh, let me get out of my hair, okay? Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you were doing fabo. I am doing great and I'm here to do another installment of Ask Miss P, volume number 23. I put up a four. I am bra man from the fifth flow. Did y'all see that? I don't know my numbers. Please be sure to like this video. I'd really appreciate it. And shout out to everybody that's giving me compliments on my hair. I really like it. I enjoy it. And it's really cute. I'll give you guys some more information on this hair and all this in a future haul video. Please, please, please click on the link below. I have a new venture with Coco Fab. And I want you guys to check them out. A lucky viewer that was in my phone that asked a question, I pulled your question and your question is the first question I answer on the first installment of peace love and all that good stuff the segment that I'm doing over on Coco Fab and uh yeah let's just go ahead and get into uh the rest of these questions the first one is love culture when do you think is the perfect age to have a baby have fun baby um you know what I don't know when is the proper time to have a baby when you have all your shit in order kids don't ask to be here um, that's one thing that I don't really appreciate when people bring kids into the world and they really didn't ask to be here. They just sitting there like, no, you didn't. So make sure you have all of your stuff together and then bring a child in the world when you are ready. Next one, anonymous. She said, make me anonymous, okay? Miss P, I need advice. Okay, I like women, but I've never really been with one. I mean, I fooled around with the girl when I was younger, but we were just exploring. Anyway, I love lesbian shows and both femme and stud are attractive to me. Question is, I don't wanna ignore my feelings, but don't know how to meet lesbians or bisexuals and do it without my family knowing. My thing is, if I see a female somewhere, I don't even know if she is into girls, so I don't approach. Please help. You fooled around with a girl a little bit. You liked it, but you don't really know if you really, really like it. You attract it, but you like, oh, I don't know. I feel as though you should really date a woman and see if you, if you like it. I mean, how would you know if you've never tried? Your family's not dating a woman. You are. And that's another thing. You need to be content with who you are, okay? If you really want to date a female, you have to block out everything that's going to come with it. If you're still thinking about it and it's really bothering you that much, you need to try it. I mean, your mind is telling you you want to try You need to go ahead and do it. And you already said you fooled around with a girl and you liked it. You kiss a girl like you like. What if you get in a relationship with a dude and yet you're still thinking about the chick that's across the table from y'all and you like, mm-hmm, I would, that's not fair. See how it goes. If you're like, mm, I thought that, that's, no, I thought I did, but I didn't. Then there you go. Problem solved. Katamu Sampler says, I'm a graphic artist and my church has been asking me to redesign things for them. Normally, it's not a problem. They consider it a donation to the church since I don't charge. But lately, I've been getting project on top of project and they're constantly giving them giving them to me late notice. I'm feeling like they're starting to abuse the fact that I'm doing this for free. How do you think I should handle this? Oop. You know what, boo-boo? I think you might need to back away from the table just a little bit okay you know when you have a lot of food on the table and you're like whoa i don't know if i should keep going don't keep going you show people how to treat you if you showing people yeah abuse my kindness then they're going to do that don't let people abuse your kindness they take your kindness for weakness just because you keep doing it i know it's for the church i know it's for the lord but at the same time even the lord is like girl get your life so you need to calm your nerves a little bit all right tell them hey 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 this is all I'm doing for right now. It's okay to open your mouth and say something. And don't feel like you're offending people because you need to tell them, hey, my time is valuable. This is how it's going to be. All right, the service is at four. That's what I put on the paper. That's it. Y'all remember on the five heartbeats, my hours are from what? Nine to five. Okay, take it or leave. You don't like it. Amen. Big Boy Hollywood says, I got a new job just today. My question is, have you thought about getting your master's degree? If yes, what's your major? Shout out to you on getting a new job. Um, yeah, I thought about getting my master's someday. Not right now. Caleb Allen said this or that. Oh, I like these. White guys or black guys? Um, it don't matter. Oh, I have to pick one. Something about a black man. Just, yeah. A uh, man with a big one or a small one? Preferably a thick one. Um, and if you could have any actor, football player, etc.'s baby, who would it be and why? Um, let me see. Uh, let me think. You know, I've always been in love with Romeo, Romeo Miller. I've ha I'd have his baby. I'd have, um, 
even though Tank has a baby mama already, I'd have a, one of his children. I'm trying to think of who else. Oh, there's another. I'd have Trent Shelton's baby as well. Yes! Uh, let's see. Your Fraggle Rocker says, why do nice guys always finish last? You know what? I don't know. And I feel as though that's a stigma that a lot of people put on themselves. Like, oh, I'm such a nice person. Why do people always shat on me? It's not that you're finishing last. It's just the certain type of person you attract. People don't really want that. But you have to change that for yourself because a lot of nice guys finish first. Next one, um, Hooray May 5 Moon. I actually answered your question in the Coco Fab segment. And it had a lot to do with following your dreams and not allowing other people as well as your own mind to dictate what you were going to do in your future. So please check that out. Like I said, the link's going to be down below. Let me know what you think. Next one, Jasmine G says, I'm active in my church and there are a couple of teens who occasionally cut up and yet Basically, she has problems with groups of friends of hers. Um, sometimes they act as though they're the best of friends. Next time, they're acting like she's fake. They always put her in a box as she's better than they are. And she feels as though she's kind of like the outcast, but she still wants to be friends with them back and forth. And she really wants to know advice. She's really quiet, and she wants to know what should she do. You have to break away from people that are not elevating you to where you want to go. If people are negative and constantly saying things about you, and, oh, you think you this, you think you that, that's a problem with them. So you really need to move yourself away from that. And I know you were saying that this is at your church or at school, so how can you get away from that? I mean, there's plenty of people you can hang out with and I feel as though once you break away from a certain group of people they can either realize that oh we actually liked her we didn't mean to be like that or they can be like anyway and act like it doesn't bother them so at the end of the day it's all about you and how you feel I wouldn't be miserable every day with people who could care less about me so move it along and Tim Hurt says what is your favorite case for the Galaxy S4 you know what I would say my favorite cases for the Galaxy S4 this is a case mate case and I have another case mate case that is a leopard print and I really really love them. I put some more reviews that I've done. I'm doing a lot of reviews for mobilefun.com and they have a lot of great cases. I would have to say case mate for right now. Next one is from JTay93. How do you get your teeth so white? Oh wow. Thank you. I would say Crest is a blessing. It really is. Demetrius Farley says I'm taking a college senior. I'm currently a college senior. Oh my god. Have I been drinking? What in the world? No, I haven't. I'm currently a college senior and I'm taking a course that's in the 100 level, which means it's a lot of freshmen in this class. The freshmen in this class are ratchet as hell and act like they are still in high school. They talk back to the professor and talk over his lectures. Should I report this to the dean or just speak to the class? Because, honey, all I want to do is pass the class with flying colors. I love you, Miss P. All I want to do is in a zoom, 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 and I'm on, on. Just shake your rock. I don't know why I'm doing that. Babe, I don't think you should report to the dean. I mean, that's the professor's problem, the unruly class. And if you are feeling disturbed, just move somewhere else. Their ratchetness has nothing to do with you because by the time you graduate from the class, they're going to still be in college. If it is getting out of hand where you cannot listen to the lectures and you feel as though you're not learning, then you tell the professor and the professor works from there. And you never know, you might get some brownie points. Jabria Demery says, hey, Miss P, so I finished high school in 2012. I was working at the time. I did not want to go right to college because I really don't like school, so I plan on going to the Navy. I took the test twice and still didn't pass. I really want to do this, but I'm so discouraged. Should I just give up and go to school or keep trying? Well, baby, I would say please don't go to school if you know school is not for you because that's a waste of money. When I go to the Navy, they pay for it, and you're good to go. I think that's how it works. If I were you, if I really wanted to go to the Navy, I would keep trying, but I would find somebody who could help me pass the test. You need to figure out what study aids you need to use or who has passed the test before you that can help you because you can you can do it definitely you just need to figure out how to. Adam Ali says he wants to move to the USA from the UK. Is it expensive? Yes baby. Anytime you move it is expensive. Just make sure you have all your ducks in a row. Make sure you know what state you want to go to and um yeah, just plan accordingly. Don't just up and move unless you got it like that. Just plan accordingly and hopefully everything goes great. Jordan Crawford says, Hey Miss P, I love your videos and your personality. I lived in Ham I live in Hampton, Virginia, and they just built a Zaxby. 
face. When I saw it, I immediately thought of you. I dig in their boneless wings and things meal. What items on their menu do you think the spirit of Jesus resides in? I always get the kids meals now that I'm not eating as much. I get the kids meals. Um, I also get the Big Zack snack. That's a blessing. And their ice is just from on high. So yeah, that's what I get. And last question is from First Lady Speaks. Hey, Miss P, I recently got into it with a friend that went behind my back and snaked me for a dude. She went as far as having him listening to our conversations about him. She goes around telling people I'm fake because when her man got out of jail, I told him how she was sleeping with dudes with her child in the room. Was I wrong? I mean, she sucks the dude dick I was messing with. Oh my God. You know what? I always say, please don't do tit for tat, but baby girl was wrong. So I mean, if you had to tell Debo that she was sneaking around, then there you go. But at the end, I mean, you ain't got no friend no more. You don't have her as a friend no more. She doesn't have you. Y'all just move it along. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But man, that's messed up. But no, I don't think you were wrong. I mean, you done told him now. You told bro, man. She was messing with your man. You told her real man. And there you go. So, I mean, a lot of people feel as though they can just do what they want to. But that's not how it is. If you guys have any questions, please post them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please let me know if you want to be a Anonymous in the future Ask Miss Peas. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.